Hey guys, Anthony, 4 before Diesel. Just a quick video. This one should be quick, hopefully. You know, it's all good info, you know. So just keep watching till the end because I might even go a little bit off here or there and bang, we come back again or a bit on and off, you know. But look, here we go. So somebody, again, somebody else has sent back their uh, injectors for testing. Obviously, you don't have to do that. But if you do, as I've said before, you get your free contamination check because if we see corrosion in there, we can let you know. And then obviously if you've got water in your tank, you want to know about that. Um, obviously just crossed out his name a little bit and that for a bit of privacy. But just to let him know, if he watches the video, then he'll know these are his things and what they look like. So it kills two birds with one stone and I'll show you what they look like. As you can see, it's a 2009 150 Prado, um, 11th 09, 120,000 Ks. It doesn't actually say it there, but... Um, if he sees it and he wants to kill me, he can confirm or not, but I checked it before I started the video. The vehicle had done only 120,000 Ks in 10 years, but this is what I'm saying. It doesn't matter so much about um, <coughs> kilometres. I say how many kilometres. Look, I'm currently recommending replacing your injectors in your 1KD, probably similar in other diesels as well, not just the 1KD thing. This is just what we specialise in. Seven years or 170,000 Ks, whichever comes first, is probably the best recommendation at the moment for, say, a 150 Prado. If it's a, a 9, 10, or 11, probably not full DLC like these, and um, therefore just they should be all replaced by now. For anyone that hasn't watched other videos, what's DLC? I'm just going to pop that in the picture there. See how that one's got the black coating on it? Right, that's where they differ, okay? So your new replacement injectors from us are full DLC coated. Um, for, for your 150 Protas, etc. Right, so what I want to show you is these command pistons here. Now, they've only done 120,000 Ks. You got to understand there's microns of clearance only with these, okay? If you can see that wear with your eyes, which you can, can you see that already? Look up there. So that's kind of like a wearing area, a working area that's, you know, that's where it's moving, it's rubbing up and down. If you can see it, it's pretty average, okay? So they should be smooth. I'm just going to roll them slowly back and forth. Right, you can see all of them. See the, the one at the top, at the left, it's got those marks on it now on the first section. So if we divide it into one, two, three, four, five sections, mainly on the top section. See the top one at the left? And then the second one down. First and second section across, you can see that wear there. Not so much on the bottom three. Let's go to the second one from the bottom, okay? Second one from the bottom is probably the best one. Again, remember, this is not a microscope. We're just having a look here. It might be 4K video if you're lucky. Something like that. Um, and you can see the bottom one's got the wear, right? See the bottom one? Like the, um, probably the worst one's the second one from the top, yeah? You know, because that's... So look, the injectors aren't going to be working right when they're like that. That's why your replacements are the go. They're full DLC. The DLC some people have asked, what's the DLC coding? Well, you know, it's a fancy name. Same for DLC. Anyway, what matters is... What you need to know is that coating is harder than this steel. So that's steel. The coating on a DLC injector is harder, okay? So what's going to happen if it's harder? It's not going to wear as quick or as easy, right? So we see these at 200,000 Ks, right? And you can see, you're not going to see much because they just stay really good. There's nothing to see on there, right? Anyway, um, not much to see there whatsoever compared to the uh, non-coated. So what is it? It's a lot harder, so they're, they're going to last longer, and there's less friction, so they work better. So they're going to work better for longer. What do you want in your vehicle? Old flogged, non-coated, or some nice coated ones? Now, when you know the facts, and that is even at 100,000 Ks, we see this sort of wear, and they're not necessarily working right. And then at 200,000 Ks, sometimes we see these, and they're working quite well. It's a no-brainer. So you could say they're twice as good. As we've mentioned in other videos, um, these, these may be a lot better and virtually bulletproof is what we think with the genuine injectors. Not aftermarket brands, but the genuine ones, virtually bulletproof, okay? And I say not aftermarket brands, we're not gonna put the DLC coated command pistons in the picture that have got the coating worn off. That's a separate video for another time. But um, these genuine ones, awesome. And you want the coating. But that being said, these might be bulletproof. It doesn't mean the nozzle needles aren't wearing. As we've said in other videos, this is the nozzle needle, right? They do wear on the end there. The DLC coated as well, but they do eventually wear. 
and that varies anything from about 150 to a bit over 200,000 k's there you know we've seen them at 150 with some pretty average wear we've seen them with a little bit lower k's with a bit of wear we've seen them at 200,000 k's with less wear so it does vary a lot and that's why you know there's no absolute thing to it diagnostics isn't really showing you what you need to know about these um, we'll just rather base on averages and numbers so that's a bit about when to replace your injectors just recapping 09 so if you got a 150 look if you got a 120 prado or an 0567 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 high lux look let's not even talking about it. they all need replacing let's not even talking about it okay if you've got an 11 they're not full dlc they're like these ones i'll take this one out of the picture no confusion they're like those okay so you need to replace them if they're 12 some of them have got these right some have some haven't most 13 onwards are going to be dlc coded right Right, like this one, the black one, DLC coded. That's what you want. That being said, nozzle needles are wearing, they're getting noisy. This is not a big, bad, you, you gotta replace your injectors thing. It's that if you want it to be running in peak condition, quiet, efficient, and obviously it's well documented by Toyota, what causes cracked pistons is wrong combustion caused by injectors not working right. Well, it's also chips and tunes and other things. They're the biggest contributors, but all that aside, your next one is injectors. They control the combustion. You just want to keep them fresh, guys. Every seven years, 170,000 Ks is our recommendation. Once again, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. There's always something else to learn. Go back and watch the old, our older videos on our channel. When I say old, we put up hundreds of videos just this year. Um, we have got some older ones there. You know, have a laugh and get yourself educated so you know how to look after your vehicle. We believe the 1KD FTVs are awesome engines. They are really tough engines. The Toyotas are good. The engineering is good. The Pratos are awesome. They're worth spending a bit of money on just to uh, keep them running right, get your fuel system right. And the idea is preventative maintenance. Get it done before there's a problem. Don't wait till you've got a blocked oil pickup. Don't wait till your engine's running rough. You know what I mean? Um, prevention is better than cure, right? So subscribe thanks for watching catch you on the next one see ya